I'm going to be tying basically is this what they call a, a shuttlecock hopper. Uh, this is it here. It's basically a hopper with the shuttlecock CDC wing. Now you've probably seen me tying like the uh, fly style, which is basically with the CDC laid back, which again sits a wee bit lower. Sometimes you need the shuttlecock style so you can see it. I mean you've got obviously got your standard sort of hopper with the, the hack on front. Uh, so, but this having the, the three types works. Uh, there is a bubble CDC merger version, which another it's a good fly too. But tying a few of these in the claret's a very good colour is the one I'm going to be tying. Hook choice, it's up to yourself. This is a, a medium wire hook. It's the uh, fully milled all purpose medium in this case. It's a size 12. You know, wax my thread. We start at the eye. Let's just put a layer of thread down. At this point, I'm just going to remove the waist and then tie in uh, number this one here, number 14. You can use a 16, which is a small, this is a medium it's a peril. Uh, I'm using the, the medium size. So we tie this on the way down. You can tie it short, which should be to the point, or you could carry on down to the thread, uh, to the, the barb, sorry. And I'll usually come up three or four turns. I've got my, my dubbing. Or it, now it could be seals for SLF, something like that. Slightly double into your thread, slide it up, get it caught, meaning the anchor caught it there at the, the hook with that turn, so then I can twist the, the dub and hard against it can keep it loose, or I can tighten up as I go. Give yourself a good thorax length from the from the eye. Now to protect the tinsel, what I'm going to do is just on the side it's going to touch the hook, I'm going to run my super glue. It's a super glue, full of mill super glue with a brush. So just wind it up. The contact then will be really nice and tight. I'll not pull out. Tie it off. Now what I'm going to do is get my velcro, just watch your thread, it's going to brush back the dubbing. Take out the way. If you're happy, then you can. I usually roll my fingers just to encourage it to tighten up against the body. If there's some of them too long, you can trim them away. But that's fine. Put some legs on. I'm going to use pre knotted pheasant tail legs. These are full of. Uh, these are from Vineyards. Or you can sit and tie them out. Many time I had to do it, so. But anyway. Bring out six. You could put only two either side and be good as well. You want three either side of the hook. Do the smaller sizes I prefer only sort of four. Gets a bit heavy at that sort of size when it goes smaller. When you get the length you like, you could have been long or short as you want. I'm happy with that length there, which is probably twice the body length or so. Just catch it in with two or three turns. It's in. That's fine. You could put them underneath, or you could, in this case, you can see up. I mean, slightly on the sides, more towards the top than the bottom. I wax on my thread again. Now, a couple of CDC feathers. That's real great. It's like kind of medium to large feathers. You could two or three, but it depends on the size of the fly that you want to tie. Now. You can either tie it in straight over, put a bit of dubbing behind it, whatever. I'm going to put a thorax cover on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it laying over the back. So you're looking round about, say a hook, hook length, tie that in. Do a three turns. Just check my length here. You can always check your length before you go over. You're happy with the length. Don't have it too short. The idea of having the shuttlecock so you can see it. If you're happy with the length, then you can trim away the waist. Wax your thread, and then make sure this is bound in nice and tight. Then tidy that area up, maybe a bit more of our seals for my claret. Now there's many colour combinations you could tie this pattern in. Obviously the midge come in many colours. And you can it's a good style, this shuttlecock, so 
be happy. I'm running through the bare thread through the, the nubbin as well here just to tighten up a bit. Basically using the thread as a, a rib. Now, cheap Indian, this is a cock neck, it's an actual brown. You put in, you don't have to put these like a uh, hackle on, but you, I would, I like the hackle. You know, wax on my thread, so I've got the grip. Front of the hackle was facing myself because I want to, if I was to lay towards the back, using my hackle pliers. Just folding it through my fingers a wee bit. Depending on how good the hackle is. But oh, just keep a hold of it. Just go back if it does that. Sometimes the wee feathers are a bit brittle, but it's just they're so wee. Just have to be patient, as I say. Just catching the stem. That's why I use the, the lighter pair of hackle pliers as I can do that. Make sure you get hackle in. It's fine. There's three turns or so there. Two or three turns to skewer. Take away your hackle pliers. And then there's a fibre there. I might draw it back with the thread, including tying back the point of the hackle. You can take that away. Then what I do is make a space just to, for the CDC to come through. Lift it over. I usually do a turn, then make sure you wax your thread. Do another turn, come in front, another one behind. Just locking in the CDC feathers. That's fine. Keeping hold of the thread, keep it tight, straight in and wet finish. So what I'm going to do, it's easier to varnish thread at this point, just put it onto the, the thread and then wet finish. Just lift the CDC up. Take your time. There you go. There you go. Basically what you've got there is your hopper at the back. Your legs, your sighter being the CDC but helps obviously to float the fly. Right, that's you. Now you could put a wee touch, a wee bit more varnish in there, but that's fine when you finish with the, the varnish. Uh, you do really get a tight, tight knot. So anyway, there we are. If you're going to be fishing the fly, just oh, you can gink up or put your floating on the, the fly. I always put a floating on so you see it lasts longer. Uh, you can fish two or three of these flies together. You can always trim down the CDC as well if you think it's making the fish are turning away from it because sometimes uh, sitting too high will do that. If you're going you can always just change to the different styles or just the plain. Again it's up to yourself. So it's a good part and good style to have in your box and the old shuttlecock. You can't go wrong. And you can bring over another two you could put another feather or two in there if you want, but you need to give yourself plenty of room uh, to tie that in. But anyway, I hope. You enjoyed that time and that's uh, basically the shuttlecock hopper.